Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines for February 22nd. The People Power Party has accused the National Election Commission for having a political bias on selecting which words could be used on campaign banners. Lawmakers from the ruling PPP issued a statement yesterday arguing that specific words like Shincheonji and shamanism used on banners by the opposing political parties had violated the Public Official Election Act. However, the electoral body denied such arguments and said that it was not a problem since these words were not t- targeted to a specific party or candidate. The ruling and opposition parties alike have expressed condolences to An Hee-soo, a victim of Japan's wartime forced labor who passed away yesterday. Her death comes after Park hae another wartime victim, had passed away just five days earlier. Both parties emphasize that the Japanese government and companies that encouraged forced labor during Japanese colonization should reflect on their past and apologize for what they have done to the Korean victims. Finally, all applicants will be able to register for the Youth Hope Savings Program regardless of the national budget available for the plan. The move comes as crowds of people have gathered to sign up for this program. This offers an annual interest rate of 10%. Approximately 380,000 subscribers are expected to be supported by this program, with this year's budget allocated to the sector worth 45.6 billion won. Financial authorities agreed upon an execution of an additional budget if necessary. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, our weekly discussion segment, Social Puzzles.